Hello to this new video. I'm a big fan of Midjourney and I'm using it to create mockups for graphic design presentations to show posters or screenshots to clients. A simple way to present web pages or some graphic design outputs to to customers to give them an idea how a graphic design or web pages look like and i used to create those in midjourney so today i thought uh, why not try it in flux and i'm quite impressed some results are really uh, better as in midjourney some are not but overall i got great results and today i want to show you how you can create those in comfy with flux dev model you can also use the prompts with sdxl or different models but in my opinion flux is doing the best job here uh, I used the workflow I created in the last video, the negative prompt in Flux video, and extended it a little bit so that I can use prompts from a text file and iterate through the text file line by line and render the different prompts. I will show you how you integrate this feature into the last video's workflow, and then I will go through the prompts and what you have to keep in mind when creating mockups in ComfyUI. So let's start with the last video's workflow. So this is basically the workflow. We have our negative prompt here and we have our positive prompt and we have all the needed nodes to have full control uh, over Flux functionality. So to integrate prompt loading from text file and iterate through it uh, line by line. I'm using the VAS node suit nodes. You have to install uh, this package and I will link the package in the description below. You can install it via the manager. So let's start with a text load line from file. Not text load line from file. Double click on the background and search for it. I like to use the show text node to show our prompt and we need to convert this slider to input. So right click, convert widget to input and then convert index to input. So we can increase or decrease this index and uh, therefore and with this jump through our text file. So let's double click on index. This will create our index value node and we can set this to increment so that each generation gets another line of our text file. We have to specify the text file path here. This is the text file I am using. I will upload this to my Patreon so that you can download and use it. So you have to input the whole file path with the file name into the file path setting. We set the dictionary name to zero. This stays text batch. And here we want to switch to index. So index zero means this is the first line of our text file. The text file is simple. Every prompt gets a separate line, simple line break after each prompt and then save to a text file. To use this as our prompt, we also need to convert the clip text encode prompt node to input for our cable. So right click on the node, convert widget to input and then convert text to input. We can then connect the line text port with the text port and that should be it. Let's do the negative prompt with text and watermark. This should be it. So let's give it a try. So and here we go. Let's put the prompt here to the image result. And let's have a look what we got here. So the prompt was 
uh, 3D rendered isometric image of a horizontal mobile phone isometric on light gray background. This gives us a nice mobile phone lying on the table and we can um, use this as a base to cut our graphic design uh, results into it with Photoshop. In this example, I don't like the rounded corners of the display, so I will create another one which is better for using it further in Photoshop. So I decrease the index value to zero again and I will render again. So I like this version better. Sometimes you have to run the workflow several times to get the desired results, but in general, the Flux model is really nice, produces uh, good results on point. This prompt is not using the word mock-up in, in it, but uh, in the next uh, prompts we will use uh, the word mock-up and it really changes the results to our favor. Uh, I put the index node beside the prompt and let's do the next prompt. Put the value to one or let it increase by itself if you set this to increment. So this prompt is 5.5 inch wide by 9 inch tall brochure mock-up on white background, one open and one closed. What I see in this example is the resolution is quite low. Or well, Let's do an upscale step in here. Simply use the upscale with the model and I'm using the upscale model loader with the real Ezergan four times model and then output this to a preview node. Let's do another one that should give us a better resolution and a better result. So here we go, better resolution, much clearer edges and much better to further edit it in Photoshop. Let's do another prompt. So switch the value to two to switch to the next line and render again. This one uses document layout on a landscape letter sized page, modern, clean and embraces dark design with rich and vibrant accents. This can be used for letter paper designs. We see lots of stuff going on here. So let's try to change the prompt to something more empty. So I changed the prompt again a little bit and now I use blank page document layered on landscape letter sized page modern clean and embrace dark design with rich and vibrant accents. This gives me a result now which I can further edit in Photoshop. Uh, let's do the next one. Increase the index number to three. It gives us the fourth prompt. The prompt is as follows. A blank white poster in an outdoor advertising cabinet on the streets of Vienna, Austria. The billboard is located at street level and has no text or images on it. It's black with rounded corners that sit atop a rectangular base surrounded by modern buildings and architecture typical of the Armstrong Square area. In front of the display, there is a large empty sidewalk for people walking past the bus shelter. So this is a quite long prompt. I'm not sure if uh, Flux is using all the keywords in this one, but uh, let's have a look on the results. And I have to admit, I really like it. It's a great base to put your graphic design poster or advertising design into this square and show it to your customers. Here's the resized version. What I really like uh, to do is to change uh, the places. So for example, here we use Vienna and I like to try out Tokyo, Berlin, uh, New York or other big capitals or cities you like to use and this gives different results every time and choose the one you like the most. So let's switch to the next prompt. Then a zero poster mock-up hanging in the streets of Vienna by day. A nice one to import your graphic design layouts for the customers simple and clear edges easy to cut out in photoshop and replace it you also can use it for in painting if you like 
let's do the next prompt. So this one is design a minimalistic mock-up background featuring two or three business cards and letterheads arranged on a clean modern surface. The background should be simple, allowing the focus to be on the branding elements. Ensure the design is easily editable in Photoshop with the cards and letterheads positioned in a way that highlights the logo designs. The overall look should be sleek, professional and eye-catching. So this one is again quite long, but it's actually describing what we want. We want to edit it uh, simple in Photoshop and it's including this statement as well. So let's have a look. This one is perfect for presenting business cards. Let's do the next one. So this one is create a front facing view of an iPhone displaying a modern chatbot interface. The design should focus on minimalist light colors using soft whites, light grays and subtle pastels. The layout features a clean chat history in the center with rounded message bubbles, a simple message input field at the bottom and a minimalist top bar with an avatar and icons. The overall aesthetic should be sleek and user-friendly, emphasizing clarity and ease of use on a bright minimal background. Let's have a look. A simple layout where you can imagine to put your own text inside and to show off some simple chat content to whatever audience you need it. Let's do the next one. A bus stop vertical advertisement in Paris featuring a blank white billboard. Front visible silhouettes of moving people in a blurred format and all focus on on the billboard. So there you go. Simply put in your design and you're good to go. The next one. Mock up empty blank small portrait oriented billboard in the center in the parkade Tokyo concrete metal panels street outside. So here we go. I like this one a lot. It gives really a good feeling of a Tokyo street scene. And if you have been in Tokyo, you really know that this is the feeling you got there. Let's do the next prompt. Create a generic new looking laptop facing a left neutral colors blank screen. So this should give you a mock-up of a laptop which you can use to show off your web page designs to your customers. Nice clean laptop and simple to cut out the area of the screen to replace it. The next one, a nice simple layout which you can use for your graphic design layouts and simply put it in here, nice and minimalistic. Let's do the last one. It says a mock up of single paperback book standing on a studio background, blank empty cover, graphic design mock up, side top view. Light gray smooth background. So this should give us a simple book standing in a studio background. And this should be as well great for further manipulation in Photoshop. Simple, what we wanted, a simple book. What I usually do, I cut out the whole book. I put in my layout and arrange it according to the corners and edges. And then I overlay the book over the layout to get the shadows and contours so that it really looks like a real designed book. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you got an idea of how you create mockups in ComfyUI with Flux. You can also use those prompts for other models. I will put them in the description below. The whole workflow will be available via my Patreon page as well as the text file. Thanks for watching. Consider supporting me on Patreon and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Goodbye.